welcome back to another Ipsy unboxing. This one is for the Glam Bag Plus, which this is the first time that they've sent it out in a drawstring bag instead of in a box. So that's exciting. That's their new thing they're doing now to be more eco-friendly. So that's a thing. But these are bigger, so I mean they fit more in them. So I can't complain with that. So what treasures lay inside this bag, you may be asking? I will show you. I'm also digging how thick the drawstrings are on this, too. They feel like shoelaces. They're so thick, so I'm like, good, they're nice and beefy. Good, good, good. The first thing in here is a lip gloss. It is the Be A Roller Baby In Your Incredible Roller Gloss um, Rolling Like a Honey is the name of it. Enriched with Vegan Collagen. I probably read that wrong, but... <laughs> Rolling Like a Honey is the flavor name. Whoops. Flavor name, color name, whatever you want to call it. I'm hoping it's honey scented. I'll review this soon so I can find out. But, um, it's by the brand Incredible. And I guess it's in their Roller Baby line, which you guys know how long it's been since I've seen a true rollerball on anything. That makes me excited. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my to be reviewed pile over here so I don't forget about it. And then I've got. What are these? These are by Beauty For Real. And they're the Shadow Sticks 24-7 Eyeshadow. And they're two different colors. Let's get them out of here. It's like that one brand that makes out the brushes in these type of packages. And they're always tricky to open up. So they look similar-ish, but they're very different. This one is in the color Midnight Marathon. Carefully open it. There it is. Very pretty. If we can get it to focus there. It's one where you just... Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Okay, so... <laughs> careful with it. It moves quick when you... Whoop. It's like, oh, 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 okay. Okay! Calm yourself there, buddy. Uh, didn't mean to roll it up very much in one go, so we're gonna be real careful with that. And then the other one is... Ever Starstruck, which I think I may like this one even more because it's very pretty, very delicate. Okay. Not sure how much it'll show up on my skin tone, but we'll play with it. We'll figure it out. Okay, careful. I'm trying to not run it into the sides of it and mess anything up, so let's pop those back in here just for the sake of storage for the moment. There's those. There is also, what is this? The Illamasqua Loaded Lip Polish. And it's just clear. It's literally just a clear lip gloss, by, but it's by Illamasqua, which I've also got the Hydra Veil from. I actually have something like right over here. I just saw it earlier that I pulled out that I also need to review. What was it? I just saw Illamasqua. Where did I see Illamasqua? Illamasqua, where are we hiding? Is it you? No. No, you're Yensa. You're Trafique, Context, Hanalei, L. I don't know where it went, but I legit just saw one earlier today. I wonder where it went. I legit just saw it, too. Oh, it <laughs> hidden in plain sight right here, the antimatter lipstick in Midnight. So I need to do that, too, but... So this also goes with the lip products to be reviewed pile. Okay, then we've got, oh wait, this is just the carded thing, which I think says the same thing as the regular bag, so I won't read it again. If you want to hear that, just go to the other one, which I'm sure you already watched. But yeah, as of this month, you now get to pick three of your items for the Glam Bag Plus instead of just one. I think it's still just one for the normal Glam Bag though, so just saying but <laughs> we have to wait till the first or no the second and third of the month now to select those for the plus although it's still the normal day it always was for a regular glam bag so that's eh, a little weird but I'm getting used to it 
So I also got, because of course I did, the Generation Clay Detoxifying Charcoal Clay Mask. It's by the same brand that does that purple one, that or the ultraviolet, that I absolutely love. So I'm hoping I'll have similar luck here and fall in love with this too. Be great if the full size goes on sale at some point, because I just replaced the full size of the ultraviolet one, like not that long ago, plus I have like two tubes the size of it too, so I should be good on that for a while. But yeah, I'm hopeful this is going to be awesome. I've also got <laughs> the Pure Lease Matcha Green Tea and Lemma Detoxifying Charcoal Mask, which I can't remember if I have full size of this or not. I think I have a cleanser in this line, and I might have the cleansing balm as well. No, that's the watermelon I have the cleansing balm from. Okay, so it may be full size of the cleanser in this, and possibly moisturizer. Yeah, I think this may be the first of this mask that I have, so that's not too bad. I always love stuff from Pure Lease, so. Then from Murad, we have the Perfecting Day Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 30, PA++++, it nourishes, protects, and restores suppleness. So this is full size, and I believe this is one of the items that I picked, actually, believe it or not. Again, I don't mess around with SPF, because... I already had my uh, my cancer scare with my skin when I was like 14, so I don't screw around with SPF. All the SPF things, I'm like, give them to me. Give them all to me. But anyways, this is a hydrating one, so that makes me quite happy. Hydration looks good on you. So this is how big it is. So that's pretty decent, actually. It's got avobenzone, homosalate, octinoxate, octisalate, and oxybenzone in it. So lots of active ingredients for SPF. But yes. AM, apply liberally to face, neck, and chest. I guess as a moisturizer, like, yeah, apparently screw your arms. They don't deserve to be moisturized. It's just for the face, neck, and chest. So, okay. Then I've got the... IBY Beauty Super Bloom Lush Eyeshadow in, in Bloom, which is a really pretty color and I cannot wait to wear. I also love the packaging too of the outer box, but the shade itself is in another one of these itty bitty little compacts, which are so cute. And this one's an actual shimmery one for once. I think everything I've had from them previously have all been matte shades. So look at that. That's really pretty. It's like a shimmery coral. I'm into it. I like it. So it may not look like much, but I mean, with eyeshadow, that amount will go a really long time, even if it were the only one you were wearing, so. Man, we're nearing the end, guys. Don't worry. Because I'm me, I picked the Kiate London Watermelon Burst Setting Powder. Do I know what the hell I'm doing with setting powder? No, but I saw watermelon, so I'm a sucker for watermelon. <laughs> Prolong the staying power of makeup with watermelon burst pressed setting powder. Light reflecting powders have been infused with watermelon extract, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin E to help protect against dryness. Delicately watermelon scented, this powder applies evenly and blends effortlessly, working to enhance the look of foundations by diffusing light, delivering a soft focus and flawless finish. Lightly dust oil prone areas with a large flush, fluffy brush for a soft, touch and a matte finish. Okay, so it is like uber reflective, has the usual bow on it, but also with some watermelon seeds around it. Okay, and then on the inside, why is that opening? It's a hinged one, it's not a twisty. Come on. I had this issue when I first opened it too. Okay, so we do have a mirror, so I'm gonna Stick this in front of it so we don't blend ourselves, but the actual powder has the little seeds pressed into it. How cute is that? How cute is that? Does it smell like it like it claims? It does! It does smell like it slightly. Not anything crazy, but it does smell a little like watermelon. Oh, that makes me happy. I will have to learn how to use it just because it smells like watermelon. <laughs> so there's that. And then I think last thing in here? Is this last? Yeah, that's last. Alright, we got a full-size palette. 
because of course this was my third choice. And seeing how big it was, I could not pass it up. It is by Estate. It's the Bailey Sarion and Estate. Um, what is the word I'm looking for? Collaboration called Venice Fling. So let's slide it on out of there. This is gonna be another one with a mirror, right? Yep. Okay. There's nine shades in here. I'm gonna block the mirror for same reason. But look how lush these colors are, my god! Look at them! I think I've got my autumnal palette for the year, guys! Holy shit! So, our colors are Soul, Bonfire, Rose Tattoo, Tan Lines, Ocean Avenue, Toasty, Roller Skates, Puppy Love, and Venice Fling. And every single one of these looks like shades I would wear. And just ironic! That, like, the three shades that I was trying to hunt down in, like, every palette last year are all in this one. Like, the exact shades I was trying to hunt down. So I'm like, well, I'm already automatically in love with this, even though I haven't tested it out yet or anything. I'm so torn because I want to do the other Maybelline palette that goes along with the one that I've been playing with, the Soda Pop one. There's also, like, Lemonade Craze or whatever it was. That those... Palettes were meant to go together, but I was trying to wait until I get around to swatching it before playing with the other one. But now I'm like, oh, but but my pretties! My pretties! I want to play with this too! What am I going to do first? Oh no, if I do this first, then by the time I get to the yellow one, it's going to be like Christmas time, and nobody's wearing yellow around Christmas time, but... Oh, first world problems! I know. I know. <laughs> I'll shut up. Anyway, and I also have that um, Morphe palette that's like literally all orange shades that I've been dying to tear into two. And I have that one Huda Beauty one that's like all purple tones. I'm like, oh, I really need to get through reviewing the last of that one Maybelline palette so I can do the other one and move on with the other palettes. So, ah. <sighs> I know. I really need to stop being so fickle that way to where it's like, oh, but unless I finish this one, I can't start this one. Yeah, that's stupid. I need to, like, stop that mindset because I've got them, like, piling up untouched because of this mindset. I need to just break that mindset and start using all the things. <laughs> but anyways, so... Anyways, that's it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed unboxing it all. If you did, go ahead and give this video a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. If you'd like to become an Ipsy member too, my referral link is down in the description. It always is on these Ipsy videos, I just usually forget to mention it, like I said in the other video for this month. Uh, anyways, leave comments down below. What did you guys get in your August glam bags? Or just, what was your favorite thing you saw me open that you can't wait to see me review? Let me know that, as well as anything else, all down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is also down below in the description. So, anyway guys, until next time, bye-bye.